TT gives users various ways to view options positions and assess the risk of an options portfolio. The Options Risk widget gives users a detailed breakdown of their options and underlying positions and lets users apply what-if scenarios to the market. The Options Risk matrix allows users to see their positions in Greeks across multiple scenarios at once. In this video, we'll use the Options Risk widget to demonstrate how to view the Greeks and risk metrics of our open positions. We will simulate changes by applying an adjustment to the underlying instrument price and volatility, and we will use the Options Risk matrix to view our P&L in Greeks across multiple scenarios. TT's Position widget provides users a detailed view of their positions in all contracts. For each contract, users can see their total buys, total sells, net position, and P&L, which updates in real time as prices change. To better serve the specific needs of options traders, the Options Risk widget organizes options contracts together with their underlying futures contract and displays their information in a manner that better illustrates their overall position and risk. The Options Risk widget gives us a snapshot of our position, theoretical P&L, and Greeks for each contract and rolls that up into the expiry and product levels. Our positions are organized under their product family and display aggregated P&L and Greeks for all of our positions within that family. Under the product family, our futures contracts in which we have a position, or any futures contract for which we have options. This row gives us our position in the underlying and aggregates Greek and PL for all options and futures positions. Nested beneath the futures contract is a row displaying the expiry, which aggregates our Greeks and PL for all of our options positions for that expiry. We then have Greeks and Mark to Theo for our positions in each option. The Options Risk widget lets us apply what-if scenarios to the market to see how our P&L, Greeks, and risk change under different conditions. Using the underlying and vol fields, we can apply adjustments or shocks to the price of the underlying futures contract and to global volatility to simulate their impacts on our open positions. First, let's configure the Options Risk widget to apply changes to the underlying price as a percentage and as changes to volatility as points. We go into our settings menu and for Display Underlying Instruments, we select Percentage. To display volatility as points, we leave its dropdown set to Absolute. Now, let's create a new tab that will display our options risk in the event of a 10% decrease in the price of the underlying and a half point shift in volatility. We start by clicking the plus sign to generate a new tab. Then, we right click on our new tab to give it a name. We'll click on the Underlying field and enter minus 10 and press enter. As you can see, the underlying field and refresh button flash yellow to indicate that the change is not reflected in the data yet. We can click the refresh button to see our updated data. Now, let's add a half point increase in volatility by entering 0.5 in the vol field. Again, our vol field highlights yellow to indicate a change has been made but not yet applied, so we click the refresh button to recalculate and display the estimated change in our open position based on the adjustment. With our tabs set up, let's set our widget to refresh automatically. In our settings menu, let's check Refresh Risk on Fill and Refresh Risk on Interval. We'll leave our interval at 15 seconds. We see that the icon on our refresh button is now green. When we have an order fill, our refresh button begins to flash, letting us know that our data is about to update. We also see that just before our widget refreshes every 15 seconds, the refresh button will also flash. For a high-level view of options risk, we can use the options risk matrix to see our options position across multiple scenarios at once. We can select an account, and then either a product family, an expiry including options and futures positions, or an expiry for options only. Let's select the crude oil family, and our options risk matrix lets us view changes to our positions with various combinations of adjustments to volatility and underlying price. Each cell in the matrix displays P&L and global risk metrics using the change in the underlying futures price for that column and the change in global volatility for that row. Let's limit our display to marks to Theo, Delta, Gamma, Theta, and Vega. We can click the Risk Metrics dropdown and select Clear All. Then we just select the values that we want. Let's add a few more shocks to our options risk slide. We can click on the Edit icon, set our volatility to Absolute, and our underlying to percentage. Let's enter our volatility shocks as 0.5, 0, and negative 0.5, and for our price shocks, we'll add a decrease of 10%, a decrease of 20%, and an increase of 10%. 
we now have a new matrix using the provided shocks and the date and time that our data was generated. The top of line Greeks are highlighted at the center of the matrix. The matrix shows aggregate Greeks in each scenario inside of each cell of the matrix. For cells where we see interesting data, we can use these same shocks in the options risk widget to get a broader picture of how our positions would be impacted. The options risk matrix also makes it easy to export our data for further analysis. We can right click on the options risk matrix and click export to CSV to save scenarios to a CSV file. As you can see, TT provides options traders with the tools they need to monitor their options positions, risk profile, and performance across various scenarios. For more information, visit our website at tradingtechnologies.com.